okay in this video we will build a user profile uh, that will be similar to the profile that we see in laravel.io so if you go to the user profile so you'll see like this so we can see the latest thread by their name with their threads so if uh, someone has replies we can see like this latest reply so thread will uh, display in another section same as this so uh, let's uh, build that so I'll create a new controller uh, user profile controller so let's php artisan make controller let's switch to that controller user profile controller here I'll define a uh, index method so which will show the first page and here uh, we'll fetch uh, threads and comments so we are fetching the thread of uh, the particular user so we are passing that user instance here so we are getting the latest threads also we'll get comments so uh, we are taking the, uh, the comments of user id and commentable type uh, thread so we are getting the comments in thread particular thread okay so if you want to fetch replies uh, just make new instance uh, like uh, replies changes to replies and uh, change it to app comment and i'm passing that to profile.index view uh, with uh, threads comments and user these three variables and now let's define this uh, ra uh, sorry view so let's go to file index so i've already created this uh, view inside my views directory profile and inside views profile and index.blade so this file uh, extends uh, the front layout and i have made a category section where i'll display the username uh, and the content section where I'll display the latest threads and threads so I've done these uh, beforehand uh, you can just uh, grab the code or type it down also I have uh, placed a dummy image from this URL uh, this allows us to create a dummy image of any size so you can change foreground, background, whatever you like. So you can copy that uh, URL into that. All right, so uh, now let's define routes. So let's go to web.php. So here, here I've defined this route user profile and placeholder will be user and user profile controller uh, this is pointing to index so which is this method so here we are passing that user so that's why we need to be exact like user so I've given it name user profile so let's go to index and let's see it in browser so that we can get a clear idea what it is so let's go to that route user profile and ID of user okay so this is the placeholder image with the username as you can see here and uh, latest threads so name of thread and latest comments so this uh, section is a sidebar section and here is main content so uh, we're displaying users name and that is threads and looping through threads to display subject so in case there are no thread we are displaying no threads so, uh, similarly for comments we are looping through comment and so here is a slightly different thing so we are accessing the comment table so it will access the thread model in this case so uh, commentable model will be thread so 
with this way we access the thread and we display the subject of thread similarly we are displaying the time uh, created at d4 humans so that will uh, display the one week ago or human interval dates next let's uh, make this uh, link so I'll wrap this inside a tag and let's display this inside subject and uh, when someone clicks on this thread subject we want to take the user to uh, index page so thread index and we need to pass the thread ID so in this case uh, since we are looping through comments uh, we have access to that thread ID through this route so comment commentable and ID sorry thread uh, so I think yes okay let's try once more yeah so it uh, it takes us to that page okay let's add one more thing uh, for now let's uh, go to user profile so here uh, we are passing ID to access uh, this page so when we pass ID we got access to that user model so that we can display names and other stuff so uh, let's make it uh, like name of user rather than uh, just user ID for now we want to visit that page uh, using uh, name of the user rather than ID so username so in order to do that uh, you need to go to user model and here define one method uh, called get route key name and return the name field instead so now uh, when we access that um, now in this case we can access that user model uh, using that name rather than ID so we can access by using the name so previously we are accessing by using ID okay let's uh, check that so let's refresh this okay so that looks much cleaner so let's uh, access uh, someone other else's profile so yeah so that works fine so here you can um, uh, while logging in you can store a custom image and display the custom image so I'm using placeholder for now uh, let's add a link to user profile page so let's go to navbar.bleed and here uh, we have so we have this drop down down below so currently we are displaying the name and so here uh, in case of guest uh, not logged in user we are displaying login and register so if user is authenticated uh, so currently there is username and we'll add one more entry to display um, profile so uh, this is totally fine we'll add it here down below so we'll make one more a tag and here uh, we'll use so the name of route is user profile yeah user underscore profile user underscore profile and we need to pass the auth authenticated user okay and here uh, so we'll re uh, remove extra codes so here I will say my profile let's test that 
so now we can see my profile if you go to my profile it should load up this view yeah so that's working perfectly so what we can do is we can also add uh, the name of user uh, who created it here so in order to do that let's go to index so that will be thread index and we need to go to thread listing so let's add one more paragraph let's see how it looks yeah it looks okay so here uh, we can add our content so what I will display is uh, posted by uh, posted posted by name of user so thread user name and I'll make it link so that it should take us to user profile page We displayed this posted by uh, with the link to user profile and username. So currently uh, our HTML looks weird. So instead of that, uh, what we can do is we can just replace it with a uh, panel. Uh, let's do that. Uh, so here, mm, this is panel and I'll so I'll, I'll include this uh, panel title same as subject control C so I'll pro, uh, put everything inside panel content and I'll comment this out so title will be subject and panel content so let's see how it looks okay that looks okay yeah so one more thing uh, we need to make it we need to make it link link got it and the route will be same as this one and we'll display the same thing thread subject okay cool so it should take us everything working and posted by this user and we can uh, this will load up the user profile and uh, we can add the time st stamp as well so posted by this user uh, let's let's put it here time mm, thread created at and div for humans all right so that should work So posted by Webdiamatics one week ago. So if you want uh, the authenticated user to visit this route, you can add a middleware to it. So you can add a auth middleware to it. So I'll add middleware auth. So this is how we create a user profile and. Uh, we'll add some more feature in our next video uh, you can suggest uh, some more features uh, 
or you can contribute to this project on github so i'll see you in the next video bye